From shooting an extremely traumatizing scene to having to understand the questionable things her character did. Here's everything about how Brianne Howie struggled to film this one scene in Ginny and Georgia. I'll dive right into it. Ginny and Georgia Season 2 didn't shy away from exploring the complexities of mental health. Georgia, despite her own emotional baggage, finally began to see things from Ginny's perspective. And what's more, she even attended a therapy session with her. Talk about progress. But one scene in particular left a lasting impression on the lead actress, Howie. In the scene, Georgia discovers that Ginny has been self-harming and forces her to show her the burns on her thighs. Howie recalls the moment as gut-wrenching and emotionally charged, and it left a lasting impact on her. I can't even imagine what Howie might have gone through while filming that scene. I'm so sorry that I missed this. I'm just so sorry, Peach. Even if it was fictional, even if it was just for a TV show, it had a huge impact on Howie. The 33-year-old actress talked about how even reading the script for the scene had her crying her heart out. The scene was where Georgia learned that her daughter had been self-harming. And of course, as a mother, Georgia asks Ginny to show her the burns on her thighs. The scene was a stark reminder of the harsh reality of mental health struggles and the toll it can take on families. It's a raw and honest portrayal of a difficult issue, and it's a testament to the show's commitment to breaking down stigmas and starting important conversations. It's why so many fans have been unable to tear their eyes away from the screen. The show has captured the hearts and minds of audiences around the world. At the heart of the show's success is its willingness to explore the gray areas of life, those tricky moral dilemmas that don't have easy answers. Instead of presenting a cookie-cutter world where everything is neatly divided into right and wrong, Ginny and Georgia embraces the complexity of humanity. It's messy, it's unpredictable, and it's real. And that's what makes the show so relatable. You see yourselves in the flawed but lovable characters as they navigate the ups and downs of life. But it isn't just about entertainment. It's also a platform for important conversations by tackling difficult topics like mental health, race, and sexuality. The show gives voice to issues that have been ignored or stigmatized for far too long. For star Brienne Howie, that moment came when she began hearing from fans about how the show had affected them. People had started opening up to her, sharing their own struggles and triumphs, and thanking her for her portrayal of Georgia. It was a humbling experience for Brienne, who had poured her heart and soul into the role. She knew that Georgia was a complex, flawed character, which basically made it harder to root for her. By tackling taboo subjects and shining a light on the messy realities of life, Ginny and Georgia was helping to start conversations and break down barriers. And that, to Brienne, was the greatest compliment of all. In the first season of Ginny and Georgia, Georgia was presented as a seemingly perfect mother who had her life together. She was charming, confident, and always seemed to be in control. But then in season two, you see a different side of her character as the brick wall she had built begins to crumble. For Howie, this was the perfect chance to understand why Georgia was the way she was. The 33-year-old actress was able to delve deeper into Georgia's motivations and understand the many layers of her character's personality. Throughout season two, you see Georgia struggle with her past mistakes and the impact they've had on her family. She's forced to confront the consequences of her actions and the secrets she has kept hidden for so long. Despite the big fat mess that was Georgia's past, the woman is a survivor who can adapt to anything that comes her way. But the best part is how Howie has portrayed her character. The actress believes she has to be on her character's side to understand their point of view. While Georgia can be hard to root for at times, Howie approaches her character with more compassion. The exorcist actress believes that Georgia's decisions always had reasons, with most of the reasons having something to do with the character's past. And as an actor, she tried to understand why her character would make those choices. At the same time, the actress struggled to come to terms with some of Georgia's decisions because Howie personally disagreed with them. In an interview with Tadum, the 33-year-old actress revealed that Georgia's worldview is pretty narrow. You all know how that's due to the character's fair share of grief and trauma clouding her head, and this made it difficult for her to understand her daughter's opinions. Georgia has always wanted Ginny to have more options in life, but now that Ginny does have them, she's grown distant from her own mother. And with that note, 
I know it's gotten a little too heavy. This is why I wanted to talk about another side of the show, as was revealed by actress Antonia Gentry who plays the role of Ginny. When asked about her most enjoyable scene to film, Gentry admitted that Ginny's character often finds herself in intense situations, so it was a breath of fresh air to be able to portray the lighter side of Ginny, where she's happy, such as when the teenager's having fun with her mother Georgia, or simply enjoying the company of her love interest Marcus. Speaking of Marcus, Gentry gushed about her co-star, Felix Mallard. She raved about how easy it is to work with him and how much she enjoys their scenes together. And who could forget Nathan Mitchell, who plays Zion, Ginny's loving father. The 25-year-old actress expressed her love for her on-screen dad's fun-loving personality, especially how he always manages to lift everyone's mood on set. But perhaps the most memorable scene for Jenny was the bachelorette party scene. It was apparently a long and exhausting day of filming. Still, even though everyone was dead tired, the entire cast ended up being drunk on punch and had quite a blast. Gentry described it as feeling like the Hotel California, where you check in and never leave. It's always fascinating to hear about the camaraderie and fun that goes on behind the scenes of your favorite shows. It sounds like the cast of this hit Netflix TV show has an incredible bond, which only adds to the magic of the show. Who knows what other fun moments will come from the set in the upcoming season? You're like totally with Boy Baker now, aren't you? <laughs> Yeah, I think so. Speaking of the upcoming season, there's been a burning question on every fan's mind. Will there be a third season? And if yes, then how soon will it be out? Unfortunately, there hasn't been any official confirmation from Netflix. According to showrunner Deborah J. Fisher Lampert in an interview with Deadline, Netflix has a regimented renewal process. Simply put, it means that it might take a while before the streaming giant makes a decision. Lampert remains hopeful that the show will be renewed for another season, especially considering the wild ride that the show has taken viewers on so far. After all, the end of season 2 left fans with many questions. The co-CEOs of Netflix, Ted Sarandos and Greg Peters, have even named Ginny and Georgia as a phenomenal US success in a recent Bloomberg interview. With all this buzz, it seems less of a question if the show will be renewed and more a matter of when. To give some context, the announcement for the second season of the show came two months after the premiere of the first season. Until then, you'll have to keep your fingers crossed and hope for the best. That's a wrap on how Brianne Howie struggled to film Ginny and Georgia.